all right guys so just a little quick uh video on the car um i sanded the front bumper i got as much as i can i have some exposed ghetto body filler right here because there was like a little mean dent right there from uh kind of looked like a trailer hitch probably uh bumped it so i filled that in and yeah so i just gotta sand it and it'll be good to go i did the wheels as you can see it looks way 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 better i uh cleaned the windows pretty nice everything's just pretty clean overall it was getting a little bit dusty but yeah so i didn't record how i painted the wheels because uh honestly you guys would probably laugh but i jacked up the car and as i was spinning it i got a little piece of cardboard i stuck it in there and as i stuck it there with this hand i was just like feathering it in actually you could kind of see a little bit of gold right there but you can't really uh tell so i uh i did that around the whole perimeter i even have a little overspray on the tire as you can see but um it could come right off with uh you know some good concentrated degreaser so um i got the perimeter and then as soon as i got the whole lip i just started to go feather each spoke since it's uh like this you could see this top side i spun it got this top side this side this side this side and then on the opposite side is on this side so i feathered it right there and i just spun it this way that's how i got both sides evenly all around it's just a little uh ghetto hack but yeah lug nuts everything i even sprayed the rotor um it had to it was burning up and everything it was a good smell but uh i got the like um the caliper and everything is just pretty ghetto but it actually looks surprisingly nice from over here and that's all i really wanted um I'm not really going all out on this car because this car needs thousands of dollars and it needs hundreds of hours of work and I can't put neither of that into this car. So, um, but everything I'm doing to it, it's uh, making it look so, so nice. But uh, yeah, I need to sand down this door handle because it has like 15 different um, Plasti Dips, primers, paints clear coats glitter type of paint and i'm gonna restore uh the the handles i'm gonna repaint the trim all the way around and i'm gonna repaint no not repaint but i'm gonna strip down the uh the mirrors and just uh polish them so they're just gonna be black bare uh plastic and as you can see it's kind of coming off that coating but yeah i'm gonna clean up all this and just make all this look nice and uniform but yeah so did the same thing for the front yeah you can see a little gold in there i could touch that up real quick but um let me show you the paint that i used for this it's actually really 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 nice it's called Alumina, Alumi Blast. So it's basically an engine paint. It's for ideal for engine blocks, water pumps, and more. It says uh, resistant corrosion and abrasion. Um, this stuff, when it actually dries, it's like pretty rock hard stuff. Directions right there, but I got this at AutoZone, and um, yeah, it looks pretty dang nice. It just looks like a, you know, an OEM wheel, and also. It says um, made with actual aluminum met made with actual aluminum material for added durability. But what does it say? Um, Non-smudge restores wheels and casting to their original condition. So that's what I was trying to look for. It's right in front of my face. But yeah, so these are like actually meant for wheels and as you could see it just looks plain and that's exactly what i was trying to go for let's check out the other side but yeah guys that's how she looks and it looks sharp as hell very very nice 
the car is really, really coming together and couldn't be happier. Just baby steps. Just do it a little bit at a time. I did the same right there. These uh, rear rotors are shot, so I'm not even trying to like paint anything. That's just over spray right there. And uh, it needs pads and rotors in the rear. I kind of got some of the shielding right there, which that kind of looks kind of nice. I think I'm going to paint um, the shieldings uh, silver. It looks really, really nice. I noticed like a lot of new uh, cars are coming out with uh, silver um, shields, back plates, whatever. Overspray, it's okay. And yeah, just gave her a wash right now. I have all the moldings. I'm going to paint that with uh, the trim paint, but I'm also going to use uh, the adhesion promoter. I love that adhesion promoter. And look at this. Oops. There's no editing on this. So, yeah. Just to make it look a little bit better. And because uh, as you can see with this and the gold, uh, it didn't look so good. So now I have uh, a nice finish here, nice finish here. And now the bumper needs work. And uh, I could actually drive this to the bank, to the grocery store. I could drive it anywhere without looking uh, like a hoopty, you know, a bucket. I still have to touch it up a little bit. It's kind of chipping right here from the old uh, clear coat, but I'm not even worried about it. At some point, I am going to get um, the factory wheels, but I do like these wheels because they are light as hell. These things are super, super light. Acceleration is really, really good with this car yeah all right guys so that's gonna be the little video little walk around um expect uh the mirrors and door handles next and then i'm gonna move on to the bumper and moldings and then uh at some point it's gonna be the rear spoiler and the rear bumper that's gonna get sprayed and the top is actually pretty beat and the top actually makes the car look the worst i think so I really don't know how I'm gonna paint it because you can't really have your can facing this way. I actually thought about kind of jacking the car up this way to get it more at an angle so I could spray it, but that, that'll be a, a pretty interesting move, but I do not know how to uh, paint the top. Like only uh, HVLP, um, only spray guns, you know, like actual spray guns with compressors could actually tilt at that angle while spraying but yeah and then tint too tint is going to come sooner sooner or later but that's going to look real nice like a nice 45 percent i'm not going to go too um too dark because for this type of car it's going to uh you know not look all that great but a nice tint it's going to look you know pretty nice all right guys so that's a little video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys in the next one